Is this one of the most satisfying bits of tech to watch? But this 3D printer isn't just pleasing on the eye. The walls it's creating have the potential to change our impact on the planet. So one of the big challenges of our city, Miami and all coastal cities, is rising sea levels and flooding. And traditionally, cities have addressed this by building seawalls, which you see all around us, even here. And the problem with traditional seawalls is that they destroy marine habitats. Traditional seawalls leach chemicals, and very simply, they're flat. So when you have a flat seawall, the organisms that live by the coast, they can't attach to this flat surface, so they migrate. And there where they want to be eating all the toxins in the water. So once the sea life and the organisms migrate, no one's there to eat the toxins and the quality of water goes down 50% within one year of installation. The challenge for Kind Designs was coming up with something that was economical for communities, but will also enhance the underwater ecosystem. And they think they've got it. These are the walls that you yes. create. Talk us through some of the features. Okay, so there's three really important features why these make these walls so great for marine life attachment. One, you have these little micro textures on the wall. And so if you imagine a rock climber, if they're trying to climb on a flat wall, it's impossible, right? So same for sea life attachment. Then, just the nature of the 3D printing process, you have all of these layers on the wall. So these layers are great actually for coral growth. And then lastly, you're not just having your kind of bottom of the food chain on these walls, but because of these caves, you get so much more biodiversity. So every species, their number one thing is that they want to survive, which makes sense. Us too. <laughs> yeah, and us included. And so with these caves, as you can see, they're really deep. I can fit my whole arm in here. So that's where your larger organisms can hide from predators. And that's what really, really encourages sea life attachment and the amount of biodiversity that you couldn't get anywhere else but a natural coastal ecosystem. It takes just under one hour for a wall panel to appear before us, much quicker than traditional moulding and setting of concrete. But this way of manufacturing also brings design flexibility. We have the highest resolution 3D printer in the world. So our layers are one inch thick, which allows us to create like this design or anything else. And so since we're just producing in Florida right now, we're keeping this design. But as we expand nationally and globally, we can alter our design to make it fit the coastal habitat in any region of the world. You're printing with concrete which is still one of the most unenvironmentally friendly materials there is. Are you looking at other materials or, or is concrete the only answer here? We are using concrete, one, because concrete seawalls are mandated in many areas. You can use like vinyl seawalls, basically plastic seawalls. The problem with them is microplastics are leaching in the water, so also a problem. And two, you can only use them in areas that are very low impact, like a river in Orlando or lakes. The difference between traditional concrete and ours is ours is non-toxic. So it doesn't leach. There's no chlorides, there's no metals, and it's also mixed at a 30% lower temperature than traditional concrete, further decreasing the carbon footprint. And that's just a starting point. As we democratize this product and have more of a margin, we will incorporate more and more components to our materials that keep pushing the limit on how environmentally friendly the concrete mix is. This startup are installing their first walls in Florida now. Studying their impact will be vital in assessing if they make a positive difference and in what direction the designs will go next.